Peter Obi's legal team an embarrassment, says Reno Omokri. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. Reno Omokri, a popular social commentator, has claimed that the legal team of Peter Obi of the Liberal Party at the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal is an embarrassment. Omokri, media aide to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan, disclosed this in his official Twitter handle on Saturday. Omokri, a staunch supporter of Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, said he is disappointed at the nature of the witnesses and evidence that Obi's legal team brought before the tribunal. He alleged that Obi's counsels are making schoolboy errors by blundering their schedule of documents and then asking for more time. He noted that the way Obi's team is going about the petition will not yield fruits. Peter Obi's legal team and their witnesses at the presidential election petition court are simply an embarrassment. It was a man, this was a man boasting that he had all his evidence and witnesses. And look at the type of witnesses they are producing. The mathematics professor blamed his inability to prove that Peter Obi won the Nigerian election 2023 on lack of time. Another Lawrence Mwakati got confused in courts. Lawyers who make schoolboy errors by blundering their schedule of documents and then asking for more time. It is not looking good for Peter Obi, not looking good at all, he said. On Friday, Peter Obi presented additional witnesses to the tribunal to prove President Bola Metinumbu did not win the 25th February elections. So this is coming from Renu Mokri, an ex me aide and also a very social critic who is very active on social media who doesn't cease to share his thoughts on you know, political situations and um, happenings. Renan Mokri is known to be quite aggressive with his thoughts sometimes, and he didn't have it all easily with Peter Obi when the campaign was ongoing, as he was dragged sev severely on Twitter, you know, for punching holes in almost everything that, you know, Peter Obi does as an opposition. A lot of people think it is jealousy and envy, that is making, you know, um, Renault say this. And some people are saying, um, like a commenter said, the exiled man, go and have a rest. If you be man, come back to your country. Greedy, jealous man, you and Obino be mates. Okay, so the dragging has started again on social media, um, especially by supporters of Peter Obi, who feels that, you know, Renault is always finding himself enjoying dragging Peter Obi and so if he keeps doing that you know um, they would all come out for him as well so it is not all finished when it comes to election as the election tribunal is still sitting trying to find a way around you know all these issues of whether the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria currently Ashura Jualame Tinumbu is the rightful winner as announced by the INEC chairman Mahmoud Yakubu. So a lot of things have been going on politically in Nigeria and the climate is kind of a mix-up of some people excited about all those laws or the policies being put in place by the president, Bala Metinumbu, while some are seeing it as a means to just draw people closer um, from doing things that seemingly people want. For example, the arrest of the CBN governor, Godin Mefiele, and also the arrest of um, Bawa, who is the EFCC boss. Um, but people are still talking to say it is too early in the day to determine or to say, you know, what Dinobu is doing is in order. Some are saying it has a stint of dictatorship and that anybody who's been suspended from their post or offices should be taken to court. And it's only the courts that can determine um, if the allegations brought against them are true or not. For example, in the case of the EFCC chairman, that is um, Abdul Rashid Bawa, um, is being arrested for abuse of office. And um, it's been said that it's alleged that um, $300,000 was spent on him and his family members in Makkah within 10 days, as an insider, you know, alleged. And also for Gordon Mufiele. 10 allegations, strong allegations, which include round tripping, um, sponsoring of terrorism group, and uh, also abuse of office and all this stuff 
were those allegations thrown behind them. And this is actually making it quite uncomfortable for Nigerians to say who is the best man or where are the best men for the jobs to aid our agencies. Agencies that are the apex that are supposed to ensure, you know, um, um, accountability like the EFCC and the CBN and transparency are the ones that we are having the bosses being uh, in messy messy allegations so that's what's happening now and for Renault punching holes